The Imitation Game is a really great film about an incredible true story. I really enjoyed this film. You know, this man saved the war for this country and this country just treated him terribly. It's an incredibly sad story and they they tell it well, you know. This is just I wouldn't say wonderful, I mean how can you say something's wonderful about something incredibly sad, but there's this juxtaposition of like triumph, victory against personal pain, torture, and I, I, I thought that was a wonderful structure to the film. You got Benedict Cumberbatch playing Aaron Turin and yeah, oh he's bloody good. <laughs> You know, he, he was so good, you, you couldn't keep your eyes off him, he's, he's incredibly intense, he, he's, just, he's just magic, he's pure acting magic. Benedict is one of our finest actors, uh, you know, in his age bracket, you know, he's, he's incredible. And then I'd say Matthew Good was really terribly underused, um, but I had to keep reminding myself, well, this is the Aaron Turing story, it's not about Matthew Boot, Matthew Boot, Matthew Good's character. And Kira Knightley was surprisingly good. I just was really taken by her, to be honest, because I do think she's growing as an actress. Uh, this year in particular, I think she's really grown and she is starting to become something. And, you know, I, I admired the fact that she avoided the whole teeth smiles thing that she does and her overly pronounced words. So I really did enjoy watching her play a character that had a bit of depth. I was just terribly engrossed with this film. I, I'd say for anyone who is using this film as a textbook, I really do advise you just to start watching now, but I really hope that's not the case. <laughs> but what I say is, when they finally cracked Enigma, I just wanted to jump out of my seat and just shout, Hurrah! British watching this film. It was incredible just how engrossed they made me feel and then just how British they made me feel. It was just wonderful. So, you know, kudos to that because it's just like to manage to get you so engrossed in a film I think is a very rare thing nowadays. And I'd certainly say that this is probably one of the best British films of the year.